And welcome to She Shays with your host, Jill. Yes, indeed, I am Jill. Nobody else here. I must be Jill. So let's get right into the shave today. Um, I have two more soaps that um, I want to uh, review. And they are uh, along the lines of the uh, inexpensive line over at Italian Barber, the Razor Rock line. And um, I was debating on doing Sicily or what the puck orange sunrise but I decided to go with Sicily so Sicily um, is a uh, tallow and argon oil based soap and the uh, scent is uh, bergamot sweet almond uh, a base of vanilla and creamy woods so that sounded interesting to me tonight so that's the one I'm going to be doing is Sicily. And I will save the What the Puck Orange Sunrise for another time. The brush I'm going to be using, which has been soaking, is one of my favorites. And um, it's one that I put together. I bought the handle um, separately from the knot and this is the I my favorite brush of all and that's the super high density two band badger look at those gel tips I mean those are amazing the feel on the face this is only a 24 millimeter but it looks like it's more like a 26 or a 28 and I love the handle I chose to put in it so that's the brush I'm going to be using for it. I love this brush. This super high density knot is freaking amazing. So we're going to be using the, um, like I say, we're going to be using the Sicily from a Razor Rock with uh, the uh, Bergamot Sweet Almond and a base of Vanilla and Creamy Woods. So let's get on with it, all right? I've been having my brush soaking, so look at those gel tips. Wonderful. I'm going to dip it one more time. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put some uh, water on my face again. Now I do have a pre-shave oil on, and it's called Shave Secret. Now they say you can shave with this. I've tried it. I don't like it that way, but it makes a good pre-shave oil. So I just have a few drops of that that I rubbed in. And I, I just still can't get over those gel tips. So let's start lathering up. Did I talk about what razor I'm using? I'm brain dead. Duh! Game changer! <laughs> the game changer by Razor Rock. What is my problem? And uh, it comes with two different, you can get two different plates for it. The .68 and the .84. I have both of them, but today I'm going to be using the .84. So it's got a, it's the more aggressive one. And in this, it's a three-piece razor. Take that apart. And today I'm going to be using, uh, not a new to me, but a brand new, Gillette Nasset stainless blade in it. So let's load this up on this three piece razor. Stick that in there. Put the base plate on like that. And screw down the handle. Ooh. Helps if I get it lined up right. Well, what am I doing here? Hold on. Hey. 
too. All right, there we go. Whoa, that blade is really crooked in there. What is going on with that? Take two. This is live, folks. This is live. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of an adjustment. The blade doesn't look like it's evenly. Come on, get over there. Okay, let's screw that down. All right, that's all centered now. Let me dip that in the hot water. Let me put some water yet again on my face. I'm gonna dip my brush again. Look at those gel tips. And let's get to loading the soap. So again, um, the Sicily has uh, bergamot, a sweet almond, and a base of vanilla, and creamy woods. So I'm starting to load that up. Let me add a little water to the tip of my brush. And get a good load on this. Like I say, this is my favorite natural hairbrush. That super high density knot is just the best. Did I mention I got it from Razor Rock? If I didn't, that's where I got it. <laughs> the knot. <laughs> load on here. You know me, I like to load heavy. And you can't get much heavier load than that. <laughs> Let me use some of this pearl lather that it's already created. I could do a full pass on just the pearl lather. Mmm, smells good. Oh. Mm, 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 mm. I love the smell of bergamot and almonds and vanilla and creamy woods that this has. Look at that. That's just the pro leather. Now I have another fever blister here, so we're hoping for a gentleness and easy glide. So I don't do too much damage opening it up. It's inevitable. Unless I skip that area altogether. Alright, look at the load on that. Let's get going. I like tallow soaps for the lather it gives. base down. Hope everybody had a safe holiday. And you all have a great upcoming week. base on here and then I'll start introducing some water god I love this brush look at that already it's nice look at that brush just loaded It smells so good. More water. <coughs> this 
brush is just freaking amazing. The sheen on that. I'm going to add just a little bit more water. Look how loaded that and dense that is. I'm starting to get the sheen I want. Great flow through on this knot. Okay, it's approaching the lather that I'm going to like. Did I say how much I like this brush? <laughs> hydrated very well. Nice and creamy. So let's get to it. Again, my game changer with a .84 blade, I mean blade gap on it, and a fresh Nasset blade. The Nassets cost a little bit more, but Italian Barber just had them on a great sale. I find them very sharp. They're up there in my top five blades. Nice. I find them very smooth, very sharp, and they perform well in any razor I use. Okay, I'm going to be easy on that cold sore. I'll no doubt rip it open. Okay, let's have a feel. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a wonderful first pass. I have hardly anything left. Just a little bit here in my usual spots. Oh my god, this blade. You can see the residual even on an inexpensive soap. I can go over areas that have no visible soap. And it still works. Wow, what a great first pass. Just a little bit here, a little bit here. I'm gonna touch up my lip, and that's it. Wow. I love this Nancet blade. I 
And this soap is providing me great protection. And I know it's going to leave my face feeling nice because it has that argon oil in it. And I buy a lot of health and beauty products with argon oil in it. Nice lather. This razor and blade are performing impeccably. Perform informing, did I say? Performing impeccably. And it's so mild on my face. It's going to be rough with that fever blister. Oh, ow. That's going to have to do. Because that hurts. That hurts. Okay, let's rinse off and see where we're at. Wow. What a great combo. What a great combo of soap, razor, and blade. That's baby but smooth everywhere, but just a few little hairs here. What a great shave. Look at how much is still in there. <laughs> so... This just goes to show you that soaps do not have to be expensive to perform well, to smell good, to perform, to leave your face with a nice post-shave feel. You don't have to be spending 30, 40 bucks for premium soaps. I mean, if you got the expendable income, do it. I mean, I've got some higher end soaps, that's for sure. But it's not a necessity to get a great shave. And it smells good. real thick lather for this last pickup. Nice. Oh, that's just perfect. I 
watch out for that fever blister. Let's slide. Beginners, don't try that. Okay, now I'm just playing. <laughs> the residual on this is good. Like I say, you can go over areas that don't even have any visible soap on it. Alright, you're just mucking about. You feel cheated because you don't need another <laughs> another lathering. You've already got your BBS. All right, let me rinse this off and I'll be right back. Don't go away. <laughs> That's because I had a good combination of gear that I used. I had my Razor Rock Game Changer .84 blade cap on it. And I have the uh, Nasset blade, first use on, on it. And, of course, I use the Sicily from Razor Rock as my soap. And, again, that's bergamot, sweet almond, and uh, a base of vanilla, and wood notes, creepy wood. And that Game Changer 0.84 three-piece razor is amazing. I didn't need that much. I didn't even need any pickups on that. And I have a total BBS shave. Let me rinse and I'll be right back. What a great shave. Wow. My face is so smooth. For an inexpensive soap, it left my face feeling very moisturized and smooth. And I have a total BBS shave. I know how to pick out my implements, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> so that's the review on that uh, particular soap, Sicily, from Razor Rock. Another one of their budget soaps. Bergamot, sweet almond, the base of vanilla, and creamy woods. Thoroughly enjoyed this shave. And it is totally BBS. Nice face fill. I can't feel a thing there. Nothing. Great face fill. Alright, let's get some post shave stuff going on here, okay? Um, I'm going to use Thayer's. Rose with Chasel. It didn't even irritate my fever blister with that shave. Great shave. Man, oh man, so close. And baby butt smooth. All right. And for an aftershave, I'm, um, I rebottle these. They come in plastic, but I buy my own bottles to keep them um, out of the sunlight, and it's glass. And this is the Pimo, uh, Pinot Clubman Classic Vanilla Aftershave Lotion, because that soap has vanilla in it, in the base. So I'm going to spray some of that. You can buy these bottles on um, eBay so that you can decant anything that originally came in plastic. Mmm. 
What a perfect aftershave for it, because this Razor Rock Sicily contains a base of vanilla. Mmm, that smells so good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Put some on the decollete. What a good combo. And for the um, uh, Poche Balm, I'm going to use Aqua Velva Sensitive 5-in-1. What a nice shave. I haven't used my Nasset blades in a while. So on a fresh one, mm-mm-mm. And a Game Changer Razor from Razor Rock, 0.84 plate. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Can't go wrong. No way, no how. Mmm. My face feels so soft and supple. Can you see how my hands just go so softly on that? Okay. So that's it. Game changer. 0.84 plate. I used my super high density two band badger brush. I used a Nasset blade on its first use in there. I used uh, Thayer's Rose Witch Hazel. I used uh, Pinot Clubbing Classic Vanilla Aftershave Lotion and 5-in-1 Sensitive from Aqua Velva. That was a BBS shave. That was a fantastic shave. And it proves that you do not have to spend a shit ton of money on expensive soaps to get a great shave. That is a fantastic shave. I can't say enough about that Game Changer 0.84 either. So everything I used in the shave tonight was wonderful. So if you've got any questions about anything I used in there, or if you have any questions, period, please comment. Um, I love your comments. I love reading your comments and everything and things that you share with me, etc., etc. And I just do. I, I love reading the comments. Um, they're great. They're great. You guys are awesome. We're getting up there. We need to get to 500 so I can do a giveaway for you guys for appreciation, which I totally appreciate you. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. Give me a thumbs up, please, and share the video with friends. And there's nothing else to do but to say goodbye for right now. And, you know, I love you guys, right? Right. Bye-bye.